Welcome to a new question of the day. How can we quickly gain insight into a large ice cream survey data set? Wait, did I say ice cream? Let me change the decor. The answer with multiple correspondence analysis or MCA. A survey was run in a beach resort in order to investigate ice cream consumption behavior. Five questions stored in columns were asked to 91 ice cream consumers stored in rows. Questions addressed preferred brand, weekly consumption frequency, as well as preferred flavor, sort, and type of commercial provider. Note that questions are represented in the form of qualitative variables. This is an artificial data set that was made up especially for this video. In a previous video, we used correspondence analysis to explore the link between two qualitative variables involving many categories. Multiple correspondence analysis lets you investigate a data table made of more than two qualitative variables. Similarly to PCA or correspondence analysis, MCA gathers the initial information or inertia in a reduced number of dimensions or axes. In Excel stat, Go to Analyzing Data and click on Multiple Correspondence Analysis. Select your question under the Observation Variables table. Click OK. Axes F1 and F2 carry 83% of the survey information. We will thus limit our interpretation to these two axes. Click Done. Let us concentrate on the symmetric variable plot output for interpretation. The horizontal axis is dimension F1 and the vertical axis is dimension F2. Points are the different possible answers for all questions. This is a very neat MCA output as it allows to clearly distinguish three consumer behavior profiles. Consumers who prefer brand A like fruity stick ice creams. They have one more than twice a week and purchase them in the supermarket. Brand B fans would rather go for vanilla flavored ice creams in cones at the ice cream cart and twice a week. Multiple correspondence analysis allowed us to explore a large data table made of qualitative variables. In upcoming videos, we will see how to assemble similar observations within groups. For instance, how can we group together surveyed people with similar answer profiles? We'll talk about clustering, also called segmentation techniques, next. See you soon.